So, had to find, oh, there's a collar for Bertha. We put a bell collar on her so we can hear her at night. We just know where she's at. She's very stuffy. So, um, I've adjusted the camera, and I'm not sure if you can see this, but this is an old headlamp that I want to cut off these little notches and possibly lay some epoxy here and flatten that out. And if I can flatten that out, I'm going to try and use the stuff that came in the box to make a headlamp or a head mount. So when I go fishing, hopefully tomorrow, um, I can show you guys some of that video. So I'm just going to use a hacksaw and try and cut this flush. Now I've removed the batteries out of it. I also took out the, the part of the light where it hinged right here. So I've removed all that and I'm going to try and make this flush. Um, and then we're going to go from there. So I just like said I want to move the camera because I had it on the table and as I'm cutting it, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be real shaky. So also we want to make sure that we don't lose any fingers. So be very careful if you're doing this. Clean white walls all around There's no color to be found Took my heart, stole my dreams Told me I am a machine I'm breaking out, I'm tired of this How much more can we take? How much more can we So, we got these little knobs cut off And now I can actually start playing around with if this is gonna work or not. Now I'd like to use the flat part, this one that came with the, that's what the GoPro is actually sitting on in the box. I'd like to use it if possible. Um, just cause I don't wanna waste another amount and have to buy an extra one for no apparent reason. I mean, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. No, so be it. But uh, as this sits, that would work fairly well. I'd like to put some epoxy on it, but I don't really want to have to use the, uh, articulating arm either so I'd ideally like this to sit right here vertically um, so I'm probably going to try and build up some epoxy here and I do have two part epoxy inside and uh, I actually want to get a paper plate to do that so I'm going to get that and see what this what I can make of it to look like so we will keep going on from there I had some epoxy laying out around the house and I had it wrapped up with some tape I don't really remember what I used it for, but I'm not even sure if it should come out. So we're going to try this. Mixer up. I don't want this getting everywhere, so I'm just trying to keep it kind of centralized. I'm just going to try and fill in this gap and make this as flat as possible. Seems to be looking pretty good. Liking it. Seems to be filling in that gap pretty nicely. And I should have a little bit left, so after I get this set, all this put into place. And I get the other mount maybe cut. I should be able to epoxy that into place. I'm thinking. I'm thinking that's gonna be the best way to make this work.
and I'm thinking, I'm not sure if this is going to work or not. I'm not, I'm not sure. Well, the only reason I say it too is this is flat. This is the flat mount. So we have a nice smooth surface here, and that's looking like it's going to be smoothed out pretty nice. Um, the problem that I see here is that unless I cut this flush, I have a fairly large gap to fill in in the bottom. Oh, hacksaw is going to be. Hey, hey, success. And that is how I want to save that GoPro mount. So, like I said, we, this might have been useful um, if we were to get a boat like tomorrow. Uh, but it's not going to be tomorrow. It's going to be a few months down the road. So, I didn't want to use the mount either one of the mounts really that it comes with just because we, we might have another application for those so if I can just use one that's already set in place then I figure that would be the best way to go about that and as being as this is kind of a makeshift project anyway um, I really think that this is going to be the best way to do this so I feel like I'm making the best decision hopefully I'm not going to get any flack on cutting that off and it's something that I'm not sure what it's for whether it's your car or whatever but I think this is going to be an okay thing. Oh no. And this epoxy seems to be setting up pretty good actually. Move this over here so we can see it. Um, it's gotten much, much flatter than what it was, so it filled that void up real well. So now what I'm thinking is there's still a little bit of a gap there, but if I can put this here, and fill that in with epoxy. All right, so it's only been about 20 minutes or so. So we'll come take a look at it. And it seems to be setting up real nice. I was holding it up out of the camera. It's right on there. It seems to be setting up really, really good. I think this is going to work. I'm not sure if you can see inside there or not. There it goes. But it looks to have set up pretty. I guess it might have been, it seems to have set up pretty square in that mount. Um, there are is some runoff on it, but it doesn't have to be perfect. I made it for essentially nothing. I had everything here. Um, I had epoxy here and you know that's a couple dollars. I had an old headlamp. You can get a headlamp like this, very similar to this at Big Lots or the Dollar Tree for a couple dollars. Um, and I like trying to make things, I like trying to make things myself. We're gonna check it after dinner. My, uh, my wife and I are getting ready to eat. She made chili tonight. It's my favorite. So uh, we'll check in after that and then as long as that looks like it's going to be what we want it to be, I'm going to get my fishing gear ready tonight, and I'm going to go do a little wade fishing tomorrow. All right, so it's been about an hour, and Janine is actually just on the back side of the camera, but so it's been sitting. We've eaten dinner. Um, sorry, I was just taking a peek at it, but can see some of the epoxy right here on the back side of that, maybe. Um, all in all, you know, all in all, you know, I'm pretty happy with it, I think. Um, I think it's going to serve a purpose, exactly what I wanted it to do. All the little cracks along the bottom have a good bead of epoxy on them. The top is filled in real nice along this crease. That's all packed in there with epoxy. And then on this back side as well. Um, so, you know, I think we're, we're going to be in good shape. So I'm actually going to take one of the mounts and put it on there and then see how everything uh, lines up. I'll actually even take a video with me walking around. I'll 
do a quick walk through on the house with it, but we'll see how it works out. But uh, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, even looking in the cracks, I don't see any of that epoxy build up in there, so I think we're going to be good to go. And excuse my dogs, they get a little rambunctious at night, so sorry about that. But yeah, so I'm going to put a mount in there and see what it all does. Quick tour of the house. Sorry, it's a little dirty. But we will turn that down a little bit. But I think it'll work for what I want it to do. We have a house of doors. A little bit of an echo over here but you know i think it's gonna definitely serve a purpose okay a little flimsy but i can still tighten this up uh, as far as the strap goes um not kind of like it i don't know what do you think it looks good. kano what are you doing yeah i probably I, need, I think i need to tighten the strap up a little bit but uh, I think it'd be kind of neat to uh, maybe give it a shot. <laughs> Let's go. So, all in all, I uh, I think it was a, su a success. You know, I, I think this this little mount that I came up with worked out pretty good. Let me take this off real quick. better light inside um so you can see it with this arm it sits flush against the uh the mount itself but if i take that out which it's still gonna have to harden a little bit overnight but it's all pretty pretty rock solid right now this whole thing i think really turned out better than I could have expected. So, took the stuff that we got in the box, about an hour of my time, and a few things I had laying around, made myself a, a head mount. So we will give it a shot tomorrow and see what it looks like. Thanks for tuning in everybody. Talk to you later.